And I'm back on my favourite bit of the club water tonight. This is the, the upper tour at Tor Bridge. We had a bit of rain overnight, which I was hoping would have done a bit more than it has really. Let's swallow that. Not really brought the river up an awful lot. Oh, it's come out, that's good. Okay. So we're getting to the time of year now where if you're like me and you only really get to go out weekends, occasionally, mostly evenings, you just have to come and make the most of the, the light. Even if you know the fishing is not going to be the greatest, I think uh, sunset tonight's about five to nine. So we've got a few weeks now, haven't we, where it's worth going out and then after that, before you know it, it'll be too dark. Got a few fish rising in here, so you never know, might not be too bad. Right, let's see what this evening brings. Okay, so I've got a fish rising in that foam over there, where those tree branches are. It's a little bit breezy tonight. Didn't make the casting all that easy. This is one of those shots where they want it right next to the branch, aren't they? That's pretty good. Mm. Well, I can't do any better than that. That was right down through it. Just the odd fish rising in the back of this pool here. I must say the wind, the downstream wind could bugger off if it wants to. Blowing the cast back to meet me. I finally got a rise and missed it. I don't think it was very big. Guys, just blowing it all over the place. I'm sure you can hear it on the camera. I was hoping it was going to die off a bit come the evening. I've switched over now to try the duo for a bit. There's really not an awful lot rising. And uh, I'm hoping the nymph on the end will just help combat the wind a little bit.
if by some miracle we do get an evening rise, I'll probably just take the nymph off the end. Sorry, take the nymph off the end and fish twin dry fly. Well, it's certainly a lovely place to be, even if you can't catch anything. I'm on to plan C now. Big bushy dry fly in the faster water. We'll see if anything comes up for it. I've shortened the leader down a bit as well so that I can actually turn the fly over a bit better. I was hoping it was going to be cloudy tonight and I wouldn't have to deal with this sun. But same old tour. Well, I've been well beaten tonight. There's a fish rising up in here. I've put all sorts of flies over him. It's not, can't find what they want. I don't know whether they can see the line or what it is. rising to flies next to my fly. <laughs> Fish. I think it it. Oh, God, I'm caught up in all the line. Aren't I? Oh, that was good, wasn't it? surgery there. was interested the successful fly in the end was a split wing CDC which I'd flattened to try and make it look more like a spinner. I've had to work really hard to get another fish I mean I did it's tiny. Well the wickham in the faster bit comes up trumps again but it's come off. Ah. Oh. That was a shame. You thought after about four or five jumps it was pretty well hooked. But there we go. Quite a lot of black nuts about. 
one of those people should come here during the day. I hope I'm not putting people off coming to the tour, saying how difficult it is. It's not, it's not always like this. Sometimes you can come and have, you know, 10, 12 fish. You just seem to be picking the evenings when it's hard. It's possible. Tiny compared to that one that just got off there. Right. I don't know if the camera will be seeing these, but there's loads of olive spinners about. I just think these might be the ones that uh, crawl underwater to lay their eggs rather than end up spent on the surface and cause a massive rise later in the evening. But nice to see. Let me come close enough to the camera. pool's also changed doesn't it because all this tree here used to be up there across the river and made a lovely run down through here now it's all over that far side mind you there's a fish risen in it over there Let's see if we can creep up and get a cast of that Just took off. I thought it had lost it. It went so slack the line. Funny, see, once the light goes off the water, things start to happen a bit more. I'll check what the time is in a minute, but that was nice when it rose, cast over it, took the tail on that. Right, well, I think I'm going to call that it. This camera is not the best in the low light conditions, so I'll probably fish on for a bit more, but at the end of the filming. 
fairly typical tour evening really started off next to impossible but ended up with a couple of nice fish and one of the decent fish lost plus a few smaller ones like that so it's always worth coming out you're certainly going to catch a lot more here than you will sitting at home so you might as well come and enjoy the sights and sounds of the river and um, just relax fish how you want to fish really there's fish rising up in that pool. <laughs> it's difficult when you can only fish evenings that you get such a small, finite amount of time. Uh, what we've got like May, June, a bit of July if the water levels hold up. But once you get into the you know, middle of August, it's probably getting too dark to fish after work. So we make a real effort this year to get out more. Definitely get out more here on the tour. I think I'm. I missed it a bit last year because I was so busy rushing around trying to film everywhere. This is my normal haunt for the evenings. Right, let me catch that one there. <laughs> ah. Long distance release. Right, well I'm going to carry on fishing, but uh, catch you next time. I thought I'd just show you this one. I thought in that little tiny thin bit up there, the tiny fish. Look at that. It shows you, doesn't it, sometimes. I missed about three and I wasn't that bothered because I thought well, they were all tiny little things. Maybe they weren't.